This video will cover the steps to reset the Tsunami QB MP835 units back to refactory defaults via scan tool version 3.1.3. A uh, couple of quick notes. It is recommended to have a spare POE with a reload button available at all times. The POE part number is 76346. Uh, this can be purchased through your Proxim reseller and as the reset works at the bootloader level, VLAN configuration will not impact the procedures. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and cover how to do a reset on the MP QB835 radios. Now, they are a little bit different because uh, they do not come with a uh, POE power injector with a reload button. Okay, um, now there's two ways to do a reset on these radios. Uh, the first way is, of course, is going to be via uh, HTTP, okay, uh, management, and then you could have reset the factory, okay. Uh, the new feature uh, that is uh, unique to the 835s is within the scan tool, and it has to be version 3.1.2, Right, okay? there is a a feature for reload and reset and we'll go ahead and cover the reload uh, in a different video all right now um, as stated before it's extremely important that these radios are directly connected to a pc they cannot be connected to a, a switch or router the radio has to be directly connected to a pc all right now the process itself is fairly simple okay uh, go ahead and use the scan tool uh, detect the radio okay in my case my radio is right here my MP 835 go ahead and push the reload reset okay it's going to tell you right there device must be directly connected to the PC through Ethernet and you must be able to turn it on and off during this procedure so that means you must have direct access to the power okay uh, it could be either directly from the uh, power plug or just unplug in the Ethernet uh, portion of the PoE just as long as uh, there's no power going up to the radio All right and just go ahead and click OK it's a screen that's gonna pop up it's gonna give us either reload or reset okay we press reset now okay uh, now it tells you to turn it off click OK and then turn it back on okay so as you can see here uh, it's going to say reset request operation and it's waiting for a device to respond uh, I followed the instructions I unplugged it uh, clicked OK and then plugged it back in okay once again directly connected to your PC okay reset a request operation is successful right. be two minutes in total uh, once it's going to go through this entire process now once it's done I'm going to get and get another window here telling us that it is complete now this is uh, uh, really handy uh, when we you need to reset the radio and uh, you do not have access to the actual uh, HTTP portion okay so here we are we are done go ahead and close the window uh, we could go ahead and click a re do a rescan. Now the whole process does take a little bit because it is reconfiguring, so uh, I'm gonna have to give it some time. Okay, so after about two three minutes, um, the reset takes about that long. Go ahead and click rescan, and then it should pop up with the 169 IP. Here's our radio right here, our MP835. Uh, go ahead and click change and as you can see we're back to defaults the read write password is public type that in click OK and there you are the radio is going to go and reboot in another minute and a half or so you're going to have your radio backing up uh, like I mentioned before this is a great tool to have uh, if you lost access to HTTP GUI and you do not have the POE with the reload button uh, that said, uh, do definitely highly recommend having a POE with the reload button. Uh, go ahead and provide the PN number um, later on uh, for your uh, for you, so you could go ahead and purchase it from a, a Proxim reseller. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim. Thank <laughs> you.